Hello, once again, welcome back in my YouTube channel. Myself, structural engineer Nikun Sonagar. Today, topic is the, what is the difference between ordinary moment resisting frame and special moment resisting frame? Right? This is the questions which generated every student's mind. They always ask me what is the difference between ordinary moment resisting frame and special moment resisting frame. In our WhatsApp groups, I get the same question, right? So, without wasting, we will differentiate the ordinary moment resistance frame and special moment resisting frame. This is our important point, should be covered during the differentiation, right? First of all, full form, like uh, I already mentioned that OMRF, that means ordinary moment resisting frames. And in case of SMRF, that means special moment resisting frame right then what is the actual definition of the ordinary moment resistance frame and special moment resistance frame how to differentiate in one sentence like it is a moment resisting not meeting any special detailing requirement for ductile behavior that means the ordinary moment resisting frame should not meet with any special requirement of is13920 for the ductile detailing in case of special moment resisting frame it is a moment resisting frame specially ductile to provide a ductile behavior and to comply with the requirement given in is 1390 2016 that means in case of special moment resisting frame you need to design the building with using is 1390 2016 so your building will design as a special moment resisting frame like how the over the question is how like a uh, beams beam and columns like columns uh, all the joints are proportional and detailing as per is13920 if you check the is13920 properly then the code will mention i i tell you some important thing like a minimum width of the beam is 200 mm right minimum spacing of the vertical stairs minimum spacing of the horizontal stairs if mentioned in IS13820, if you follow this all the instruction, then the building will designing as a special moment resisting frame. If you designing any shear wall, like uh, the designing of the coupling beam, they also mention the coupling beam reinforcement detailing in IS13820. So this is the all the important points should be covered in IS13920. So it will be made with your special moment resisting frame. Which IS code we need to use for the ordinary moment resisting frame and special moment resisting frame? For ordinary moment resisting frame, we are going to use IS 456-2000, right? For the designing and detailing. Whatever the code mentioned, the designing processor we will follow for the ordinary moment resisting frame. If we want to design special moment resisting frame, we need to consider IS 1392-2016, designing and detailing. The next, what about the toughness and ductility? The while using the ordinary moment resisting frame while using special moment resisting frame if you are going to use ordinary moment resistance frame that means the toughness is less and the ductility against effect force right less toughness and the ductility right the both will both will less in case of special moment resisting frame we will get adequate toughness and ductility to resist the several aspects of without collapse that means uh, we get sufficient time to exit the building before the failure occurs right so the special moment resisting frame which is good for our functional requirement right but the cost of the design cost of the designing and cost of the construction will aut automatically higher during the special moment resisting frame when to use like the thing that when we are going to use ordinary moment resisting frame when we are going to use special moment resisting frame Ordinary moment frame resisting frame is only used when the lower track uh, arises, like uh, zone 2, where the prompt of the track is less. At that time, we will going to use ordinary moment resisting frame. In case of special moment resisting frame, the earthquake force is moderate to higher. That means moderate to higher. So at a time, we are going to use the special moment resisting frame for the safe purpose of the safety. Then next response reduction factor. If you see in the IS code, IS13920, they mentioning the response reduction factor. 
for the ordinary moment resistance frame and for the special moment resistance frame. For OMRF, we will consider the response reduction factor 3 and for SMRF, we will consider the response reduction factor 5. Now, what about the base shear? Like in case of ordinary moment resistance frame, base shear will low. In case of SMRF, base shear will be higher. And the last, what about the ductile check? In case of ordinary moment resistance frame, it is a not safe to design a structure without ductile detailing. That means the ordinary moment resistance frame is not safe as compared to special moment resistance frame. And special moment resistance frame is safe because I already tell you that we consider the so many important things for the beam. We will take a minimum reinforcement, two numbers of bar, 12 mm diameter through layer spacing of the links in case of flexor link zone a minimum distance of the links and a maximum distance of the links so all the cases will be on in is 13920 in case of column design what is the lapping zone and what is the confining zone how the confining zone will be defined right what is the stirrup spacing in confining zone so this all the given in is 13920 in case of sphere roll, they give three types of sphere rolls: bed sphere roll, intermediate sphere, sphere roll, and slender sphere roll. So the sphere roll will be classified, and the reinforcement required for sphere roll will also mentioned in IS 13920. So all the things will provided in IS 13920. So this is the basic difference between the ordinary moment resisting frame and special moment resisting frame. Thank you for the watching, guys. Don't forget to share the video and don't forget to like my videos.